com o Zoro. Esse é o meu nome. Eu luto com. Hi, this is Rita from Movie Spirit. What I'm going to introduce now is about how to use the mash tooth of Movie Spirit. The mash tooth here can be used to hide or show parts of the video or pictures. It has many use. It can be used for transition, and it can be used for split screens.、Uh, can be used for matting, and can also be used for special effects. In total, there are five different types of mash tooth in Movie Spirit. Firstly, I'm going to introduce the line mask. Firstly, make a copy of the picture to the down check, and then add a color filter to the copy picture. And the next is to add a line mask to the picture. As you can see, there will be a line list in the screen, and it can be moved along with the finger moves on the screen. With the line marks here, the picture can be displayed with an effect of two different colors. As you can notice, the part with the deep orange color is the part to be displayed, and the another part is covered with the line marks. There are three points in the light, and the blue one is the central point of the liner rotation. Click on the green dot, and it will turn orange. At this moment, when you move your finger across the screen, you can rotate the angle of the line. Now I'm going to introduce how to make a transition effect by adding the motion points to the line marks. Tap on the motion point icon and start adding the motion point. For the first motion point, we just move the light out of the screen. And next, move the timeline to the end of the picture and add the second motion point. At this motion point, we just move the light pass through the whole screen. Let's preview the output. As we can see, a beautiful transition effect has been done here. And actually, we can add two more motion points in the middle and let the light rotate to have another different effect. Let's see the output. Okay, the next we are going to introduce the rectangle mask. Here we use a customer's video as the jumper with his approval. Is a video about a boy throwing a water bottle and catching himself. Here, there's a very important point to be noted, that is, both videos must be shot at the same location. The position cannot be offset, otherwise the output effect will not be so good. The second video must be placed at the time when the bottle fell to the ground. So here we need to move the timeline slowly to find the right time moment. Once it is done, then we can add the rectangle mask to the video. Tap on the mask icon and add rectangle mask. We can change the size of the rectangle by clicking on the blue and green dots here. Okay, let's preview the output. Okay, let's continue to introduce the circle mask. Take these two videos as example here. In case we would like to combine these two videos as one, adding circle mask will have a better effect. Same as rectangle mask, we can change the size and the shape of the circle by clicking on the blue and green dots. Inside, outside here means the area that we are going to display is the one inside the circle or outside the circle. And the rotate button means we can rotate the circle mask here. Please be note that when the shape is circular, the rotation does not make a difference. But when the shape is elliptical, 
the change in the rotation angle can make a different effect. Let me make a demonstration here. Change the circle mask to an elliptical one and then change the rotation angle and then add two motion points to it. The first one is just at the default motion point and the second one we change the shape from elliptical to circled and then revise the rotation again. Let's see the output effect. Okay, let's continue to introduce the text mask. Firstly, tap on the mask icon and then add text mask. Input the text. We can revise the font and the size of the text as we need here. As the others, the inside outside here means the displayed area is the one inside the text or outside of the text. What's more, in the middle of the text, there's a central point. Once we use the finger to tap on it, it will change to orange, and it can be moved with the finger moves on the screen. And in case we click on it one more time, it will change to green colored, and the finger will only move the text this time, and the central point will remain on the location and click on it one more time, then the central point can be moved together with the text. Here, I would like to make an effect that is from the letter P, the text grows larger gradually until it fills the whole screen. Firstly, I move the central point to the letter P and then add the motion point to it. The first motion point just add the default one And in the second motion point, we move the central point of the text to the middle of the whole screen. And then enlarge the picture until the letter P fills the whole screen. Now let's preview the final effect. Okay, we have finished introducing four types of marks to today. The one about the path mask will be introduced next time. See you.